Hey guys, Chris here for another uh, money saving video for massage MV owners or if you're another sort of spa owner, you could use this as well. So if you are a massage MV owner, you know that you probably own a few of these. And oftentimes they're either gonna be oak works um, or they're gonna be earth lights. And what I found is that over time, as durable as they are, this has been a couple years, who knows, it looks like it's about eight years old. Um, they start to look like this and if I were a client and I saw this I would say well um, if that's the way they treat their equipment what else are they doing are they washing sheets are they washing their face cradles so um, I identified this little perpetrator in one of the rooms and I said well let's find a fix now the thing about these stools is that these are anywhere between a hundred and hundred fifty bucks now the ones for 150 bucks typically have the backs on them. They're used for the aesthetics rooms. Now what I do like about the ones that are 150 bucks is that they have wood bottoms. Now wood bottoms mean that they're very easy to staple. Now if you're a massage envy owner and you've talked to um, uh, Meyer that will offer to cover this bad boy, you can go straight to Oak Works and get these as well, to slap a cover over this. Now the only problem was that these covers start to slide around and again, massage therapists, uh, estheticians, unless they have their eye on it, they don't, um, they don't necessarily fix them every time. So they end up looking like this. So I'm just gonna come down here and so more often than not, I see a cover that looks like this. So, I said, well, there's got to be a better fix. And I actually had a, uh, an esthetician give me an idea. I said, well, why don't you staple it? You seem like a pretty crafty guy. I said, well, that's a great idea. Now, the only problem I found so far is that the Oakworks ones, the Oakworks, I think they're the pro, pro line, is that the bottoms are plastic. Now, I haven't gone um, ahead and um, figured out how to fix that. Maybe I could use a hot melt glue gun, but I haven't gotten that far. What I do know is if this piece here looks like this, then the back, which I actually already chuck looks about the same. I went to an upholstery repair guy and he looked at that thing and he said, you know, um, just based on the design and the way that puppy looks, that that thing is gonna cost um, more to reupholster than it is to just buy another one, which is about a, a buck fifty. I called Earthlight, they do not have replacements. I scoured eBay, Amazon, and there was nothing simple. Um, again, going back to what my esthetician had said about stapling, I said, well, that's a great idea. Now, since the back was toast uh, on this aesthetics chair, what I did was I just chucked it. And that leaves me with this piece here, but it doesn't matter because the stools are centered anyways. So I can just, I took the, uh, I just unscrewed this piece here. I took that, chucked it because I was never gonna spend the kind of money to have that back repaired. And then I took one of these, um, covers one right here and I think you know I haven't searched on eBay or Amazon but I think these ones oh, I want to say 15 20 bucks um, it's better than spending a hundred bucks okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this bad boy around here like this and I'm gonna just get it nice and centered Ugh. across the top you can see it fits really nice, which I like. Um, you know, get the seams nice. I think what will happen is you just kind of run around. This has been used, and again, every time I would go into a room, it just looked terrible because, you know, no one's fixing it. Um, and I just, one of my estheticians who said, Chris, you look, I know you're pretty crafty. Uh, why don't you just staple it? So I'm gonna give it a whirl and staple it. Um, so now I don't even have to take this thing off. To get this thing down um, I'm guessing you could probably take any type of staple gun now again the reason I like this earth light oak works is plastic this one here is wood so I'm just gonna come around and if I if you look at the staple, the way they stapled it here they clearly had a staple gun um, one designed for upholstery now you may have a uh, an electronic staple gun I do not I'm actually using a a cable tacker with a t20 staple by um, Bosch and we're gonna see and I've what I've done on this particular model there is a negative or an, uh, a minus and a plus I've actually put it on the plus setting so that we can get a little bit more depth so let's just take a look I've actually never even tested this let's see if it works okay hey that works all right now I don't know if I'm gonna actually put like a thousand staples like they did I'm, I think I'm just gonna test it and see uh,
Well, I made it. I actually made it a couple rounds. Um, you know, if I was doing this as a business, I'd probably have a, an electric staple gun. All right, so that was all my staples. So as you can see, you know, I haven't gotten crazy. I just used a regular staple stapler like this. I didn't go out and spend a bunch of money, so probably any stapler would work. And the reason why this particular model works is because it is wood, not plastic. Um, so my thought process was is as these sort of blew out, as the backs got bad and I couldn't replace them, instead of throwing the entire piece out, as I think I already did with one of them, I'm just going to go ahead and take the back off, chuck the back. You can just unscrew this thing. I just stuck it in the contractor bag and got rid of it. Um, and then I bought one of these things. You, I think you can buy them um, at Massage Envy Supplies, probably Amazon. I haven't gone that detail, but um, for about probably 20 bucks, you can reupholster your stool. And now it looks like this, but as you can see, voila, looks beautiful, it looks brand new. And uh, I can get another probably, I don't know, I can get another, well actually with this configuration here, this will last a lifetime because if I, if I, you know, if this vinyl blows out in another say five or six years, then I don't know, maybe I'll have one of my um, front desk uh, administrators uh, rip it apart or find someone who can do it really inexpensive. Or I could actually bring it to an upholstery guy. No, I take that back. You won't because the upholstery guy will charge you a lot of money. Um, but you can replace these probably uh, or fix these every five or six years for about 20 bucks. Replace the piston. You can have a brand new operating um, stool for roughly 40 bucks. So anyways, uh, better than spending 90 and or 100 and uh, get these back up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if there's any questions or comments, leave them below.